hey to everybody that's here, all 37 of you. <laughs> um, basically, I like to start this these AMAs with telling a joke. So I normally say, you know, our project is a token that you buy our tokens and you pick a special number and that gives you a chance to win our lottery. Um, you can't sell the token because it has like a 100% sales tax, but then the the buy the buys go towards the treasury, which fund the lottery. And if you win, you get 31% of the lottery. And that's obviously sounds like a really big scam, but that's exactly what the Powerball is doing. So that kind of puts what we want to do here into perspective. Um, what we are is a blockchain powered lottery and a casino and sports gaming company. We call ourselves the Powerball of Crypto because that's exactly the the, the, the vision that we have our, our site set on. Um, the difference between us and pretty much every different every you know diff, DeFi project is that from the very get go we have we know what the project we know what the revenue is going to be. Um, this basically gives people the chance to invest into projects like. I know we all know Stake.com, we all know Rubet, and those are pretty opaque companies. This gives people the chance to invest in companies like that, invest in a lottery company also. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the basis of what the, the company is. Um, we're going to have a software as a service um, software as a service model where we also offer our, our games to different projects. Um, we're going to have different different games, different uh, number of games that we offer to different companies. But then we're going to have the, the, the greatest variety. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of our project. So are the games, are they uh, still in development or how far along are they? Hello? Sorry, I had myself muted for a second. So the games, uh, are, are they fully developed or, or what's the progress on the development of the games? We have games that are, we have games that are already developed um, and we also have a royalty system where we're going to license games from different companies to pay royalties to. We're also going to have a PvP where player, player versus player. So, you know, these, these companies that we're going up against, they have pretty simple prob prob probabilistic games, but we're basically coming with a whole new angle to it. So we're going to have PvP games where people can play each other, can live stream with each other, but those are things that are going to come step by step but yeah the 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 threshold for what is what is um you know a minimum viable project that product uh, product at the moment is extremely low in this market okay so um we're gonna, go ahead yeah yeah then in addition to that with the lottery we're gonna have a staking lottery we're gonna have a staking lottery a no a no loss staking lottery and we're also gonna have a stable coin lottery so with the stablecoin lottery, what that gives is it gives you the ability to basically share your yield for um, you know a higher chance to to win the lottery, the jackpot that we have. But then with the no loss staking lottery, you basically stake your tokens and for a period of time. And yeah, with time the taxes go down, but that gives you um, with the longer, basically, it's weighted. So it's time weighted, and obviously also weighted to how much you stake into the system, and that comes together to calculate in a time weighted manner to to give you, you know, tickets to basically the the jack the lottery jackpot that we're gonna have. So if you if you if you basically put it like in it in day one, someone that puts maybe the same amount in day three might not have the same probability that you have. So that gives you more of an incentive to come in early but also gives people incentive to come in at any time even on the last day maybe they're they're a whale or something we like to say whales live matter in our platform but yeah um the thing i like about the project is just we have revenue streams that are all that are very clear very no-brainer things to 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 you know when you think about it and we also have a lot of different things like our alpha group our, our alpha uh, rect alpha work workshop which basically is a way that we give value to our users in a way that they don't, they're not just price watching, they're not just thinking about profitability. Um, that is a way that we basically go around paying for different alpha, 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 alpha groups, NFT passes from DeFi to crypto to, um, you know, from to, to crypto calls to NFTs. 
to mass minting, different things. And instead of a user going around paying all of those things individually, we're partner partnering with a lot of different alpha groups in a way to give different tiers of our holders different access to different tools, different information and stuff like that, just to basically level the playing field and give value other than, you know, just thinking about profitability. Hello? Yep, yeah, I got you here. Yeah, we hear you. You hear you. can continue. Yeah, but the thing is that the, the market that we're, playing, that we're playing in, it's an $80 billion market. So when, it's talk, when we're talking about, you know, revenue generation, it's not something that I'm worried about at all. I am, myself, I have two businesses in real life, and, I'm, and I'm, I was very, very big into gambling. Um, in my university days, I used to make about 60,000 pounds per month in gambling, but I was sport betting. So I have a very keen experience with, you know, what the user would, would like and what, 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 what kind of opportunities are available to, in the market, basically. And I also recognize what the DeFi and crypto in general just gives access to. It gives access to a global market. It gives access to a lot of different users to be able to come on and, you know, take part in all of these things from different parts of the world. We're also having a gaming license from Curacao, so that can answer the question of, you know, <laughs> um, uh, restrictions or any kind of regulations in, in, in different parts of the world. You just have to have a VPN. But, yeah, yeah. Um, that's basically the gist of the idea. Okay, so um, we've got a couple of the community submitted questions. If you want to go over to the Rec Finance AMA questions, uh, you can kind of follow along. Uh, but you kind of answered some of these from, uh, we have a guy, his name is Rec. Uh, he asked a few good questions, but uh, I think you kind of cover most of those, uh, one and two. So is, uh, is your team KYC'd and how can you assure everyone's safety if they invest in Rec Finance? Give me one second. Let me actually go through these questions one by one. Okay. Um, There's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So I'm just gonna like skim through and see the ones that, yeah. that are you know jumping out the page. If mm -hmm. you have any, also just shoot. we like to say we love F we love FUD. Like we really love FUD because that's the only way you're going to grow. So if there's any, I, I don't even believe in the word in the word FUD. I hate when I hear it, but yeah, we love FUD direct. So if there's any questions that anyone has. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And I actually even want to be, you know, I want to be caught. I don't want, I was about to say something vulgar, but I want to be caught like, like with the, with the headlights, like a day in headlights so that like, that's an opportunity to grow basically. So yeah, that's the way we look at this. So um, the first question is what's the vision and what's the mission of Rec Finance? The vision is to be as big as these companies that I've mentioned. I've actually mentioned their names in um, right now to be, at the very least as big as them that's why we have that's why we've spoken to about three different crypto marketing agencies and have two ready to onboard as soon as we complete our pre-sale and are ready to launch um in terms of the vision and the mission the mission the mission is basically to aid the wealth transfer that we are seeing right now in the world um the joke i said at the at when i started this thing is to show how much of a scammy um, concept the Powerball is and people still play that to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars per year without getting anything back. This is a way to turn your lottery ticket to to basically make it refundable but also the same through the same token it basically acts in a double faceted way where it's also acting as a share to a, to a very valuable company. Um, how many kinds of jackpots do you have? Well, we have the we have jackpots that are funded by the different lottery mechanisms that we have. As, as I said, we have the stablecoin lottery, but we also have the no, no loss stake in lottery. The stablecoin lottery is going to be uh, mainly based around our partnership with USD Plus. So that's going to allow people who might not want to involve, be involved in any crypto token still come stake their, their, their US, USD, USD Plus, which is based on USDC, and earn a certain amount, of, uh, certain amount per year. Um, so basically, so it's, it's almost like a savings account that gives you uh, a the added benefit of being able to earn life changing money if you if you if you're lucky enough to win. Um, the is your team KYC and how can you be sure of safety? Yeah, we're KYC. Um, I'm very happy to dox to any you know to your your group privately to any YouTuber pri privately just for security reasons. But in the future. Very, very, very soon after launch, I don't mind doxing. 
Um, but yeah, we're going to KYC before launch. In terms of safety, we have a bug bounty um, that's going to be there from launch. And we have the most capable dev, to my opinion, in this space right now, who has worked on some amazing projects. So uh, anybody then that, that 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 would like to I'd like to know who he is, I'll, I'll direct you to his Discord or something, just so you can see the, the crazy portfolio. Um, how can we take part in the lottery and how winners are chosen? We choose the winners using the Chainlink VRF. So as I said, we have the time-weighted um, system where we calculate the amount of tokens that um, someone is using, but then we also calculate it based on the amount of time in the period, the lottery period, just to make it fair. And then we have a random, random, random um, number generator using the Chainlink uh, VRF to basically make it provably fair. What is your business model and your revenue model? As I said, the business model and the revenue model, um, we're not like the, the phase one is, you know, all these things to do with the staking and, and to do with, you know, locking and staking for a certain period of time. But that's go, go, only going to last for three months. The phase two is the most important thing. And we also we, we also are not something that we have endless inflation where the token starts and we're just going to keep on rebasing or, or staking and giving some um, some wild APY for, uh, some, for an obscene amount of time. We look at the first three months as a very unique opportunity for any business savvy, investment savvy you know, investor to look at and say, look, these tokens, this tokens are are fixed they're not the the the, the 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 maximum supply is capped from the very start so essentially you're just getting access depending on if you stake if you if there are 100 people stake they're going to share the same amount in this period if there are 1000 people stake they're going to share the same amount in this period similar to how you have the bitcoin rewards for the miners every block and after after the 3 months yeah we're going to have a, a max supply and we're not going to be minting any new tokens and we at, by that time, the 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 revenue generation from the the phase two is going to is what is going to dampen and surpass or whatever inflation that we're going to have from the from the, from the first three months. Um, what makes you different or gives wrecked um, an edge over the competitors? As I've said, mentioned the competitors and saw the, the kind of scammy tokenomics they have. If you're going to you know put it into terms that we understand in the DeFi space, but we. Are giving you an giving you an ability to invest into a company like Stake.com, to invest in a company like Rubet. That no one knows what what revenue they're making. If I ask you today, you don't know what you know. They're not they're not reporting anything per year because that's how much of a black box those companies are. And uh, Powerball is 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 um ballsy enough to actually show the scam that they're doing, and people keep on you know investing in that. So yeah, we're coming to right the wrongs of both of those companies and give. Our investors a way to actually control the control the you know to have a, uh, uh, to have a, a portion of the profits of the of the company, but also to control the decisions of the of the protocol in the future. Because as I don't know if we've said this, but Rect is also going to be a governance token token. So um, yeah, that's added value to the to the Rect token. By the way, uh, if you check on Dex Screener. Something surprising. I've not seen another REC token. Maybe my, by saying this now, I start seeing a couple kind of popping up every day. But yeah, there's no REC token, so that's something novel, also something quirky. Um, I just checked your tax system. Cool. Launch your token. Get early access. Can you tell us more about the naming? The naming of this project. So we are DGENs at heart, but what we like to say is that we're DGENs, but we turn DGENs to shareholders. And that's our plan. We're turning DGENs to shareholders and we're turning tokens and lottery tickets to stocks. And that's essentially what we want to do with this company. So in terms of wrecked finance, I've definitely been wrecked a couple of times. I know Holly Baby has been wrecked a couple of times, but we've also made a very good amount also in crypto in the last couple of months. So I genuinely believe in the concept of DeFi. I'm really against the, you know, endless... Um, stream of Ponzi schemes that are giving this space a very bad name. So that's what we're coming to write. Wrong, right? That, that's the wrong that we're coming to write. Also, um, in terms of talking about um, why, how do we deal with you know this particular market? So something to mention: the average household in America, just to give one 
place, although this is going to be a global project, the average, average household in America has, I think, about $12,000 in, um, in funds, and they spend 5% of that on lottery, on things related to gambling and, and lottery and casinos. So that's to give you an, uh, a window into the kind of opportunity that's there and the kind of man- mindset. Like we're basically working on game theory and typical human nature. This is, this is the least affected industry in any recession or any, you know, when there's any macroeconomic issue that's at hand. So you can check that right now. This is that's still going to that this is the, this is something that persisted in 2008 and it's something that is that is also, you know, holding strong today. This industry is pretty much bulletproof. Um, distribution. Why do we choose Polygon? Polygon. So Polygon has amazing um, fees. It has amazing um, gas fees. It's about like. 0.00 something percent, 0.00 something, you know, dollars. So it's very, very like fractions of a cent. And that's really important when you're talking about platforms like this. You don't want someone to think about um, what, what, uh, what, 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 uh, how much gas are they paying. I personally think a lot before I use Ethereum. So you don't want that to be a limitation to the ease of use of our protocols. But also we have, um, some plans to join the Polygon Alliance. So it was a very, very calculated decision in terms of using the um, the new convex and the new curve of Polygon to give, to enable our um, stable, coin, stable coin lottery. So we're, we're gonna be partnered with projects that give us access to, you know, those amazing protocols on our blockchain. Um, also, Polygon is, is, also has a very good um, um, also has a very good, I'm forgetting the word, program for new projects. So we're also in discuss, discussion with them about that to kind of, um, I'm missing my words here, to kind of give us a incubation of sorts. Recently, da, 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 da. so in our Discord, we have different types of tickets. We have the the wrecked lottery tickets we have the golden lottery tickets and we have a normal lottery ticket and basically the raffle lottery ticket so the golden lottery ticket gives you access to the wrecked alpha workshop and they're yeah, coming and the wrecked alpha direct lottery ticket gives you just basically a normal a normal white list um uh, opportunity and then the raffle is because we're also in this space. We've grinded on Discord. We, we've been mods. We've been um, behind some projects. So we know that in this market, it's not, I, I personally might not want to you know, do the levels. I, I'm cool with it, but then I know there are people that might not want to do the level. There are people but that might not want to you know, invite or might not have 15 friends saying to invite. So we basically wanted to have a low barrier way for people to um, get involved with the project. But you know, do uh, fulfill very min- minuscule things, basically level three or you know, three advice or something, and that gives you a chance to be raffled to get the whitelist closer to the launch. So that gives you that gives people a way to be involved. And obviously, we're a gambling protocol at heart, so it's all in line with our ethos. Um, could miss the MA. You guys plan on launching this kind of bearish? Yeah, we're planning on launching in, launching in this bearish market because honestly, the bear market weeds out the nonsense projects. It weeds out the Ponzi's. It weeds out the 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 BS basically. So um, we're happy to be launching in this kind of market because we're not thinking about cash grab. We're not thinking about um, price price chart go up. You know, um, one of the things that we're that we're doing now, we're talking to numerous projects about ways to. I don't. I, I can't. I can't really speak too much about this, but ways to basically have a very beautiful chart. <laughs> so, yeah, to basically almost assure that anyone coming in when they're seeing their 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 APY, they know that I am making money. I'm not seeing any too much uh, volatility of I up or down. Um, what is the experience of your devs and are they docs and the team? So, with me, as I said, I've, I have experience with um. The, the gambling from <laughs> my early days. So I have a very unique experience with the, to know, knowing what the user experience is like. Um, I didn't use 
a lot of websites because there were only some very specific websites that could that gave me a, a certain experience that even allowed for what I, I used to do. So I know what is the minimum threshold, and I know what has to be there to uh, probably probably what 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 I think is the minimum is probably a lot higher than what the average investor would would say is the minimum. But then I think that's still where it should be, like to provide actual good a good user experience and a good product. So yeah, um, that's one of the things that I have. Uh, I'm also an electrical, electrical and electronic engineer. Um, I have uh, numerous businesses in real life in exploitation of trade across the world. But yeah, that's basically my brief of my, and obviously I'm a DJ also. And um, my partner, Holly Baby, is a robotics engineer and he's also a data scientist. So that's, that's very good for, you know, what we're doing here because being able to have a lot of data and anal analyze that and crunch that into uh, actual actual things that you can make you can make action on actionable data is very important. Um, no projects in the early phase, work finance, AMA, development salaries. Oh, right now we're funding everything from our own pockets. We're going to eventually have a private sale, and then we're going to have a whitelist sale, and we're going to launch. Um, can you tell the superior features well, you guys, already um, been as far as paying yourselves uh are you guys going to take a percentage of the of what you raise with the pre-sale or uh, are you guys going to take a percentage of the treasury or percentage of taxes how are you guys going to get paid no so we're going to have we're going to be paid from the taxes um in terms of when we raise um that's just going to go to marketing liquidity we have the token allocation which will be in the documentation but initially no what is your token allocation, the team's allocation? Um, from the percentages? Yeah. Um, so at the moment right now, we're not we haven't we haven't got that set in stone, but what is in the documents is two percent on buys and two percent on sales. But that's something that we it's also dynamic because depending on the market, depending on the traction in the in the protocol, because this is something that when there's volume and when there's high volume, low volume, expected volume, you have to change things to be, to be, to be, um, to basically, to basically adapt to. Yeah, yeah. Adapt the current just to say something. The two percent goes to operational cost, and then the operational cost then divides that to the uh, there is a portion of our tokenomics that goes to um, people who are working. So it's not two percent going to the teams. Two percent going to everything: marketing, gotcha. development, etc. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then just fractionalize that, and then a part of that goes to. The team wallet, which is going to be, we're only going to be able to pull out ten percent each month, and that's on. I think that's only fair, so that we can cover our costs because we're going to do this full time. That's that's the only right. correction I had to make, so you can continue. Okay. So you, you said you kind of cut out a bit there, but you said 10% is what you guys are limited to pulling out each month. Uh, yeah, 10% yep. from the vested uh, right. team wallet. Okay. Yes, after three months. So after three months, then oh, that, after we're going to start pulling out. For three months. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool. I just yeah. wanted to clear that up. Everyone uh, you know, likes to know about it, so I, I always ask, I mean, how the team's getting paid, you know, it's – uh, honesty is an important thing. Everybody understands you got to get paid, but they just like to know how you plan on doing <laughs> it, you know. So, uh, anyway, go on. Uh, we can move on with the next one down there. Also, I'm extremely sick today, so just want to apologize for that. This is, I'm normally a lot more upbeat, but yeah, I'm trying, <laughs> trying to just keep it going. Um, I'm just reading through the questions, background. Um, hackers are very active. or the right clients security to moves? Um, so yeah, countless winners and no losers. When I say countless winners and no losers, first of all, I've mentioned a comparison with with uh, Powerball and their lottery, where you get zero zero uh, zero amount of your money back, and that's your contribution to the protocol basically. And still, they they, they give the winners thirty one percent of that jackpot. The rest of the 69 is going to pay, paying the team, going to paying X, Y, Z. So when I say countless winners and no losers, we're coming to implement the spirit of DeFi in terms of having users control the protocol, 
having the investments that we're making, the protocols that we're building, the profits from that coming back to the users. So even if in the first three stages there's someone who might invest and might not be happy with their investment or might not be ecstatic with their investment, you're still going to make money because that is a that 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 token that you're holding is representing pretty much shares to our company. So the profit from the company, the profit from the the projects that are that, that, that are going to launch in in the phase two is going to counteract whatever is going to you know lead to profit for for the individual. So when I say countless winners and no losers, maybe there's going to be a point when we're we're so big and you know I have to start thinking about it in an IPO sense of sense of uh, of of mindset. But for now, in the first year at least, I can definitely say countless winners and no losers, and not and 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 not think you know twice about it. Or you know yeah, that's that's basically my answer to that. So when I say countless winners and no losers, it's basically in reference to what we're coming up against. And I personally don't see the losers. There are going to be losers in the games, obviously, that, that we have because it's, it's casino games and sport betting games. But we're not talking about them. We're talking about the people that hold the token, which is the representation of pretty much stock to our company. And you're definitely not a loser. So, yeah. So count this when there's no losers. Um, will there be a house edge on the right games? Yes, there'll be a house edge of about 3%. But that's something that's also going to be variable depending on the market conditions we're going to have different periods when we can change it also based uh, uh fueled by you know for marketing purposes where you can change the house edge for certain periods of time but um for like we have our own games we have our own platforms on our project that's going to have the most diverse and most the best user experience possible but we're also going to have um Casino, casino games as a service. So we're going to be able to do similar to what a bet world is doing, but in a more comprehensive way because they, they have very few games. We're going to do that with a lot of different projects, but have different tiers of different projects, have different access to different number of games, different features. Maybe uh, a certain protocol might have their games with their skin, uh, you know, certain things reskinned on the game. So... It's just having different, a, a, a unique user experience for different protocols. Because when you have a company when that you're giving the same three games to 20 different DeFi protocols, it's going to get really old very, very quickly. And I think the difference with us is that we're not just, you know, coming with the prob, 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 probabilistic games. That's a tongue twister. We're not just coming with that. Um, we're also coming with a bunch of different games. We're coming with the sport betting we're coming with the pvp where people can can play one-on-one -on -one for, for certain different things different types of games they can play live stream with different types of things that I, I like i just want you guys to understand that this is the casino and sports betting industry so i want you to think about how the kind of things that that can encompass from even going into slightly touching the venn diagram into the twitch stream a little bit like the the the, the possibilities are endless and what we need right now is just a community that that you know that 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 is there to ride or die with our with our project. But it's definitely going to be riding. And I think with with um, with one thing that crypto projects need to realize is that the the unique benefit that we have, in my opinion, is when you have a project like I don't want to mention names, but you have some projects that people are beholden to. You know they're they're invested in 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 what what your roadmap has to say because obviously they they believe in it but they also want to make money. So when you have that, you have maybe you have ten thousand, twenty thousand people in your Discord. That's ten thousand or twenty thousand people that not only are going to use the protocol when you launch it on day one, but they're all going to to be your talking heads. They're going to be word of mouth. Like they're going to be pretty much brand brand ambassadors. Advice use this and use the use that for their own benefit because it's benefiting them because that's pumping their own backs so that's the difference with with DeFi like projects that you know funnel funnel majority of the projects all their pro the, the um, all the profit back into their token for the users because that is that basically gives the users incentives to to push the project for for us to be to give that initial traction when you started and that's something that all the projects that were coming don't have so it's almost um assurance of 
of it assures and for me it, it assures uh, success um that says what well, that's just for get my eyes taken you have plans for an emergency funds in case probability trumps over the project and the treasury is emptied out um so in terms of the probability thing i mean you can see a project like pull together which has we have some some elements that that's that's uh that that are inspired by them in our protocol but they've gone down the death spiral the thing with us is the reason why we have all these different protocols that all complement each other because they're all in the same industry i used to be an avid avid gambler and a successful one and in that space you can easily go from sport betting to casino gaming to this to that and it's not a jump it's not like a different protocol it doesn't feel like a completely different experience uh, it makes sense so in terms of uh, you know the probability trumping over we're being fed this from things that actually are legit revenue generation methods the um, revenue generating streams so this isn't something that that we're thinking about we're, we're basing it just based on users having like the traction and the volume of buy, buys and sells no we have something that's going to be coming in that is going to be in my opinion much more than any any amount of buys that we're going to have that's the reason why i see the the, the protocol as i really see it as stocks because i'm like you're not going to make more money than than what is than, than what we have the potential that we have to generate that that's not going to happen we're not going to have more buys than that so that's that's basically my view on 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 that that, that answer um, what's your marketing plan to promote the gaming kids? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna reach out to different in, in influencers. Um, we're going to test the this this the the, the same uh, the same marketing uh, that the stake dot com and Ruby used with the Twitch streamers in different countries actually. So instead of going to the same people and the same demographic, you you reach a little you reach some people that are starting out. You reach some people in new in new countries, touch the Asian market, touch Africa possibly. Like these are these are these are things that are waiting to just be be used. We'll start with targeting the places that have the the most traction, and you know, uh, centralized exchanges. Like you, for, uh, look look through Binance and look at the the, the 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 countries that use them the most, and that's where we know okay, they're avid crypto users here so we can target those people and we're also going to you know with direct alpha workshop that's going to be a way to have people that aren't even into DeFi, but might be into nfts or you know something else come into the project and then see oh they, are, they actually have a really cool protocol on the side here and that's a way to get um that's a way to basically onboard new users do you have a mechanism to solve token inflation as i said we're going to have fixed uh, fixed total supply from the start, so it's not going to be unlimited minting, and that's a very unique unique opportunity because when we get to that point, then we're going to start, you know, doing things like buy like buyback, like burns, like like funding the treasury, like like automated buybacks and burns, so so as to um um so as so as to you know lead to to force price appreciation basically, so. Yeah, that's my answer to that. You have a precaution method to halt all the games in the in case of an exploit. Yes, we do. Um, that's with the smart contract. The dark ball we've made up on the interest of the rewards funds project. That's how they mitigate the risk. Made up of the interest of the reward fund widget. I don't understand that question. <laughs> um, as a project with answer as a part of the, I don't know if you can repeat that question to me. I don't understand that question. As a project with chance as a fundamental part of its core, I'm scared how likely is it that one could get wrecked by wrecked. I think it's impossible. That's why we call it wrecked because it's it's a it's it's a it's a greatly ironical thing. I, like the irony is just glaring. We want to have the best protocol, and we want people to come in and say, "Oh shit, it's called wrecked. Am I gonna get wrecked?" And then when they see the things that are there, they're like, "Oh, that, that, that's 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 clearly a funny joke." So. That's that's the the um that's the confidence that we have that we have in our dev and the things that we have built already and what we're going to build and the vision that we have. Eric will give you numerous chances to win life changing money. Uh, life changing money is different to different people. Um, 
I know people that get him $1,000 could be life-changing money. The way we pick our winners is that we have a, it's not just one person. They're going to be about five people. There could be 10 people another time. There could be one person another time. So there are going to be different chances for different people to win different var variable amounts of money, but the, the majority is going to go to the top, top person. But that's also going to be a way to have, you know, again, more winners and no lose. So, yeah. Let's take that, man. We have a bug. Yeah, we're going to have a bug bounty. Killer features. I'm just going to list them again. We have our staking. One second. The chat just jumped. Damn is a week. That's huge. Um, by the way, with our community, um, the reason why we did the whole Rect Alpha workshop thing is we want to give value other than profitability to our users. We want a way for our users to come and discuss different ways that, that, that they can make money. I'm happy to, to discuss, you know, things that I at least know I've made money with in the past, just so that a way to share ideas. I've never been someone to to, to, to win by myself. If I have something that I'm doing, I always call a friend and say, let's do this thing together. So it's just the way I think we should all move. And yeah, I want to do a place where we come and share another project project rugging or something do you guys think, think that's a rug do you think you guys think that's cool do you guys think this is a long-term or short-term hold things that like let's just come and ag aggregate information together let's be our own alpha alpha group to ourselves like share info ask questions about whatever whatever you want to ask questions it could be about e-commerce it could be about real, real estate investor investment and airbnbs or something we just want a place where like minded information um, individuals can come to come together and basically get access to some whales actually because we have some big players in our discord already but i'm sure people would notice that as we as we grow and as we become bigger more competitive advantage as you see when you say competitive advantage honestly like when i look at the people we're going up against i already mentioned the lottery thing but with this stake.com and rubet all these projects are using the same games they're using the same things and they're making a heck of a lot of money. So it, the bar is very low. Like that's just the first thing to even say. The bar is extremely low. So the things we're coming with, the mixture of all these protocols and the way that we're going to come with it together um, also, a partnership with USD Plus and us using that as the to the token that people use on our, on our um, gambling, one of the tokens that we use on our gambling and our gambling platforms. That means the users are going to have, they're going to put, when you stake your, when you, sorry, when you when you put your money on the platform, you're not thinking the money is there just to be lost. It's actually earning um, something while it's on the platform, which low-key gives us, the, it may increase the probability of that person actually leaving the, the money on that platform and possibly using it to play, play in the future. I want all of you guys listening to this to think about this in a way as, as if you're in a boardroom. And listening, and, and, and we're talking, you know, to the board of directors because that's so the people losing on our platform and earning us profit is all in our benefits. Everybody that's here right now, so that's the competitive advantage. The the different games, the different, um, you know, the different uh, demo, the different um, industries that were, that were that were meshing together, and just very little things, honestly, that 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 are going to be done by us, the PVP and things like that, things of that nature. We also have some really cool ideas in terms of actually having protocols. Like we're thinking about doing a lot of like some things. I don't, I don't want to mention it, but we're thinking about doing some things that people typically use on their day-to-day -day lives, on their MetaMask, different protocols they use in their day-to-day -day life and offering similar things, but then putting a gamified um, um, gambling twist to it where you actually get, rewarded for just using going about your daily DeFi life signing transactions approving things or sending things you act, that actually gives you a probability a ticket to winning possibly winning something so yeah it's a way to just um, everything like there's, there's, there's something that every 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 single incentive that we have in our protocol is something that we sat down and we thought why would people do this What what is the reason for them to do it and we really like 
really looked into game theory and looked into, you know, how can we do things that would benefit a lot of people at the same a lot of a lot of a lot of stakeholders, a lot of um interests at the same time simultaneously. So that's 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 something that you're going to notice a lot in the protocol, a lot of win win situations, a lot of things that seem very clearly like win win situations where yeah, that's that's a very cool mechanism right there. Um can you please explain utility or cases offered by Rec Finance and what are the benefits of holding? Um the benefits of holding initially that's going to be a period. The phase one is going to be a period that 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 is going to be profitable for a lot of people, but it's also going to show the conviction that that um users have and benefits and that's going to be the a direct benefit of you know how bullish are you uh, a a barometer and how bullish are you uh, so that's that's pretty much the purpose of our phase one It's going to serve serve that purpose of you know trying to uh, trying to think about how to say this it's going to serve the purpose of 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 giving benefits to the users that are the most bullish and that's pretty much you know what that what what the purpose of that is investor seeks more attention to his project when the token has more utility so what uses the whole token for their benefits is there any loyalty program for holders um the loyalty program for holders uh initially so even in in um in in starting the project we're having ways for people to earn from even just you know uh people that they refer to our pre-sale allocation so there are a lot of ways that people are going to win are going to i don't say win but they're going to earn even if they might not even have the money to to have a pre-sale allocation so we're thinking about everybody we're thinking about ways to to incentivize people to be in the be in the community even if they're not they don't have the money to 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 invest but we still want them to come and to get information and to be part of the community and you know be the glue the glue that sticks all of us together um i'm just seeing someone's name ponzi Pon that's funny hey uh we got a few oh. guys that have uh raised their hand to actually come up and ask questions you mind if i bring them up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay cool uh, i'm like i'm just talking to yeah, I'm like, I, I really want this. <laughs> yeah. To talk to yeah, let me uh, let me try to yeah. bring up these guys. Uh, let's see, Goku, you're up first. I'm gonna bite you up, man. Some of these guys may have. Oh, here we go. Goku, what's up, Goku? Maybe you can tell me if I haven't watched Naruto. <laughs> Over nine thousand, huh? <laughs> Goku, I think you're muted, man. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Hello. Good evening, to all. Hey, what's up? Yeah, fine, all fine. So the first question is, why you simply put this name, the wreck? Hello, I didn't hear that. Why do you simply put this name, the wreck, the motive, or the... Meaning behind this name, the rect. Oh, rect. Um, it's yeah. a it's a term in crypto that basically stands for people who have been wrecked, like the way you have a shipwreck, <laughs> like you've lost money or someone has rug pulled you or something like that. But the reason why we called it that is because, first of all, I searched uh, rect on on this uh, deck screen and I didn't see a token that, that was called rect, and that just seemed like an opportunity we couldn't pass up. But then um, we also wanted to embody you know everything that's happened in crypto we, we've also been been been, been got, gone through down ups and downs before so i wanted to I wanted it to be something that like is a very ironical statement where where it's called wrecked but where we're definitely not going to do anything close to that and everybody there is going to yeah i don't know maybe maybe it's maybe it's a bad joke but yeah that's the plan yeah yeah fine 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 so one more question Sir, in Avax, you can ask do you know more projects? than one question, bro. Yeah, one more, one more question. The last one. Sir, uh, in Avax, there are many, uh, there, there were many projects like Lucky Ape. Do you know that they also provide jackpots like golden tickets, silver tickets, bronze tickets? I were also one of them uh, who bought their tickets. But uh, at the starting, there are many people who bought their tickets and uh, during uh, by cash uh, and by giveaways also. 
but after some time after 2 3 weeks the project uh, became failing yeah so uh, from that uh, what do you learn and how do you try to overcome that all right so basically what you're asking is how does the con- how, how do you how do you keep interest on in the project and basically keep the uh, the lifetime and the runway of the project going um as i said we're going to have mechanisms with that that we that we're discussing with some projects at the moment that pretty much assure a very a very beautiful chart and from what we've seen it's, it's a proof of concept type of thing where we're going we're going to know okay we at, we at least have you know like, uh, at least 100 days in terms of you know the lifetime of 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 what we're starting with from the very get go even without extra funding coming in so that's just something that We've discussed and we've, we've um, decided that would be the best for the protocol and our users. And then, secondly, we're not just a, a, a lottery. So it's not just dependent on, oh, I'm trying mm-hmm. to win money and, 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 and that's the end of it. We're, there's so many other things that complement each other simultaneously. It's, it's, it's yeah, there, there's a lottery, but that's, I, I honestly think like the lottery is going to be an afterthought. And that's going to be something that is going to be a marketing tool where, yeah, we're going to be able to have the lottery every week or every two weeks, but it's going to, it's going to serve just more of a purpose of when we have, we want there to be winners. And when there's, when there's a winner, that's going to be something that we can say, oh, they look at another person, another person, another person, and it's another market, marketable um, event that's happened. But then we have so many other things with the casino games, with the sport betting, and the the myriad of ways that this protocol could go in that having you know traction going down is not a fear at all because if the traction goes down fine that's good for the people that are still there because they're gonna they're, they're still going to earn more of what is inevitable to come okay okay sir so sir what's your most killer feature i didn't hear according that to you, in the project what's the most killer feature in this project according to you what do you consider the, the most the most do yeah what are you saying what's the most killer feature i think you know uh, well, the most as we said before feature. the most yeah, important we said, feature you consider in this project so like yeah, i was holiday, saying uh, yeah sure um so just uh, to reiterate you know like there are some things that uh vanta said but might not be clear uh but i'll just answer this question first so the, the embodiment of our project is basically being gambling crypto casino gaming cl- platform. So uh, this is the most important feature is to have the games uh, presented as a service. So that all of these crypto DeFi protocols that racked up a lot of money during the last bull market, a lot of them, you know, they want to keep their users enticed and more active and engaged in their platform because they want the ecosystems to continue uh, thriving because the more money and the more the more money you keep inside your economy, the more you know uh, your project lasts. So what we do is we offer them games for their so that their users become more engaged, and then we tailor the games towards you know their their specific theme. So we skin them. Aside from that, we have our own games, and so that is our uh, service that we're providing. It's not a Ponzi. It's not it's not there's actually revenue being generated in the market that's not untapped yet. Actually, it's relatively very untapped because we believe that all these government-funded lottery protocols and casino in general is just gonna naturally progress and evolve and move into the blockchain and want to be the first people. We want to be uh, want to be there early, basically, because you know and, blockchain. Uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah I want to say, say something. Like, like, if we if we only did, uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Um, if we only did, if we only did one of the things that we're doing, if we only did a lottery, I would still say it's an amazing project. But that's not what we're doing. We didn't want to leave a shadow of doubt. We didn't want to leave anything to chance. We basically want to assure that there's definitely going to be multiple ways for 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 to basically assure success with this project. And yeah, to go in line with 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 what we've seen <laughs> in the DeFi, DeFi space and the uh, yeah. I just want to say something just, you know, uh, to clear up also, because some people might think, you know, the first three months, what does this mean? So these games, when they're developed, they need a lot of testing. They need to launch a better version on the testnet so people can try them out. 
going to do a lot of uh, research trying to have bug bounties to find any exploits or anybody that might, you know, game the system. These things cost money. Legal fees cost money. So we have the games ready. It's just that the, all these other things cost a lot of money. So that, you know, yeah. everything is ready. Apart from you know? that, it's, it's just apart the from that, you and game are like it, or is it? Sorry. No, I was going to say the first three months is going to allow people who have conviction into the project to try to accumulate a lot of these tokens. That's where our staking system yeah. comes into play. So that's the main goal and objective of the staking game. So we're trying to have a staking system, but also want to gamify it. So that's like, uh, yeah. the, the, that's a staking lottery that uh, Vanta was talking about. Yeah. Cool. And honestly, like, I would, I would, uh, I would, um, I would say like, if uh, we will we, we'll probably create a, a, um, a, 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 I'm forgetting the word now, the, uh, a good strategy and a, uh, what's it, addressable, total, uh, total addressable, you know, markets, just to show you a tab, just to show the people what the, the market, actually, what is actually there for the taking, just so that you know how big of an opportunity this is. And also, like, <laughs> How low of a threshold is there currently? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not difficult at all. It's not a crypto project that's promising you a game that's as good as Call of Duty or something. This is a very simple thing to do, and we want to make it as more complicated and more beautiful and more amazing than what is being done at the moment. Because at the yeah, moment, so what like, is, is, yeah. No, I was gonna say because thing is the reason why casinos and lotteries work is humans are hardwired to have this dopamine kick so it's a lot of psychology involved and uh, you're talking about the blockchain so gambling is illegal in a lot of countries and you're talking about continents like Africa where a lot of people you know might not have the infrastructure set up but when you have the blockchain your outreach is much further and I'm talking about you know an industry that's 80 billion and that's just you know like now, imagine the future when everybody is connected to their phones and all they need is a click of a button and everything is cryptocurrency oriented. So yeah. five years from now, there's not, I'm sure like five, six years from now, you're not going to see like when you go to a local grocery store, a lottery ticket or you buy, you're going to see like some form of QR code where you scan it and then, you know, you buy. So that's Yeah, and that gives you a chance to pay. To play in a lottery that's uh, that's that's uh powered by if you believe in the conviction if you have conviction in cryptocurrency if you have conviction in cryptocurrency and you know the transparency involved in it uh you will see this vision yeah so we want to be the first and we'll, the, the bear market is actually good for us you know we want uh, uh we want investors that are more mature we don't want people who just want to pump and dump so it's not it's not we don't see it as a bad a bad thing yeah Cool. Hey, uh, I'm gonna bring up. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bring up another guy too. We've had. Uh, we got a few more sitting here. So Goku, I appreciate uh, appreciate your questions, man. I'm gonna move you back to the audience. Um, Avax lover, if you want to hop up, I invited you to speak, so uh, you can ask a question, or uh, we'll move on over to Mindy. I think Avax lover may may not be there. Let's uh, let's invite Mindy up. We'll go down the list. All right, Mindy, you're on. What's going on? Mindy, Hello. are you named after the footballer? <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, okay, uh, quickly, you know, I went through um, your website and then I I checked and you said that when whenever um, someone wins, the contract is going, to, is going to send it out um, immediately. So in a situation whereby the amount is very huge, and then the investor decides to sell. Don't you think it would um, drain down the child, or do you have any prevention for that? Oh yes, we do have prevention for that. Um, we're not, we've not, we've not disclosed that yet. But then we do have prevention of that to basically give give a, a more autonomy and predictability over over the supply and the the um, the buys and sells, just to make sure that you know. It's more clear and it's more predictable, and pretty pretty much people can guarantee that they're going to make profit for a good time. Okay, and and secondly, 
you know, in every project, there is um, always a problem, or it is how you attend to that problem that will determine if you're going to be successful or not. So yeah. my question is, as um, Red Finance encountered any problems, how would you solve? And in case of any problem in the future, how fast will the team attend to it to ensure it does not affect the success of the project? So as um, Holly said, we're going to have testing done even before we, we launch any of the, pro of the products just to make sure that, you know, there's nothing by the way of any kind of exploits, uh, exploitable, uh, fee um, exploitable things in the code. But apart after that, we're also going to have our bug bounty. And then even after that, we're going to have things in our code to allow us to pause the contract if we do get to any of these uh, extreme situations. Okay, awesome. Um, my last question, you know, um, at what point um, will you say satisfactorily that you are successful with Red Finance? Um, <laughs> I'll say until, until we can get Kanye doing what Drake is doing for Stake.com, and I'll say I'm successful. <laughs> I'll say we are successful. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Mindy. Appreciate it. I think uh, I think we got probably we could probably stretch this out another ten or fifteen minutes. I don't know if you guys have somewhere you got to be, um, but I, I probably got another ten to fifteen on this. If you guys do, if you want to answer, uh, we got three other people looking to ask a question. Yeah. If you want to finish those out, yeah, we can answer the questions. The only thing that I would like to say, mm -hmm. like kind of a public service announcement thing, is please guys join the Discord and um, uh, like uh, you know take part in everything. Let's know who you are, you know, welcome yourself and yeah, let's get to know every, everybody and share information there. We just want to build a good community. We want to invite people and, you know, get the, and start getting your, your alpha, you know, your, your lottery ticket, sorry. And yeah, we just want to have um, traction for now. We're basically going the route of having numerous AMA so people can tell. I, I believe like when you listen to somebody, you can tell if they in genuine or not so yeah. that's the route that we're going especially in their market yeah, if we launched three months ago when at the, the height of the rebase time and those type of things we wouldn't even have to do any of this it would be easy to raise a couple million dollars but hello no? hello yeah we want to yo yeah, yeah. yo I, uh, yo yeah we got you man can you ask my question uh, yeah hold on hold on just a second man Hold on just yeah, a minute. Yeah, you can ask, you can ask. You ready? Yeah? All right. Hey, go ahead, man. Okay, I already uh, sent uh, my question to the text, but let me ask it at once. You know, in yeah. um, most projects, you know, they only audit the uh, token contract without uh, auditing the staking uh, contract. So going through your website, I saw that you also have um, a staking feature. So to ensure yeah, we're that, going to have uh, audit audited. Okay, to ensure that investors' funds are saved when um, using the platform, will the staking contract also be audited? Yeah, all the contracts are going to be audited. Hello. Okay. Awesome. Before awesome. before and lunch. Okay, awesome. And my last question uh, is, you know, due to um, the market, you know, right now the market is very unstable and unfavorable. So what will be your plan and strategy to stand strong and solid? And also, Honestly, because of the... Okay, yeah. go on. No, 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 I'm listening. No, no, finish your question. question. Okay, and then also, um, because of the utility you're offering, um, the casino, um, what yeah. will also be your um, strategy to stand strong against um, any uh, regulations that may come your way in the future? Okay, so um, the first question is about the bear market. Uh, the market is crazy, but I can show you a couple of projects that raised, raised millions of dollars in this bear market in our space, the DeFi space, just in the last couple of, couple of weeks. 
Um, I'm not saying that's to say that it's easy to do, but I'm saying that it is a mechanism to weed out the good from the bad. And we definitely believe that we're part of the good. So, um, yeah, we're not scared of the bear, bear market, but just we, do, we also can't just base it based on our personal feelings. So we have put uh, incentives in our tokenomics to make sure that the price, the charts, which like the charts is, is our biggest billboard, honestly. So we are treating it as such, and that's going to lead to the um, inflow of capital in the first three months at least. And the second question that you asked, um, uh, I'm forgetting the question right now. Uh, the Holly, can you remind me? Okay. Yeah, uh, I said uh, uh, in case of uh, um, um, any regulations in the future, yeah, how okay. will you stand? So, Sorry, yeah. please it. Remember, yeah. So with the regulations, um, we're going to do the um, we're going to do our gambling license in Curacao, and that's what's going to give us a lot of autonomy over a lot of decisions with whatever we want to do. It's a very um, favorable place uh, uh, to, that, that, that's uh, welcoming to companies like us online, sports, sports gambling, casino companies. But apart from that, if you're talking about regulations of crypto in general, um, I don't think that's something that we're going to have to deal with, especially with the fact that we are based in DeFi. We're not a company that trying to have centralized exchanges paying um pain to the the protocol and we, we would look to that in the future but then yeah it's based in wallets and and DeFi. so control your keys you control your crypto so i don't think anyone's going to be able to um so like just to answer uh, maybe to expand on that like if there's any legal issue that's going to affect the entire crypto space not just us in yeah. terms of regulation it's not, yeah, it's not. i think from the last six years we can see that it's more favorable the crypto space is winning uh, in terms of uh, yeah. regulations and poli policies, um, but uh, yeah, so like, uh, if if there is gonna be a lot of money put into legal fees, yeah, so we we're gonna have you know a good legal you know department and we're gonna have good consultants. So we we understand that this is going to be a problem, but you know what? Like almost every crypto project went through this, and uh, a lot of them you know were able to win, and you can see this from with the current situation that we're in you know so we're not afraid of that you know it's just it's just a given yeah it's gonna happen but we have you know we, we've thought through that and we have everything you know planned down cool uh i appreciate your Ooh. questions man um hey we're gonna bring up bonova real quick uh and then we're probably gonna have to wrap it up there we'll kind of close out with some finishing questions and everything but uh and then you guys had a giveaway as well. We were gonna give uh, give some money away to the top questions. Did you guys? Uh, did you yeah, want to we're do gonna, that? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give away the top uh, five questions. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mention them, but maybe I have to go through them right now. But like, it's gonna be probably the next twenty minutes. Okay, try and review them and everything, and y'all can let uh, me yeah. know, and I can make yeah. an announcement. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You can make the announcement. It's gonna be the cool. top the top five people are gonna get uh, fifty dollars each. And then there are the, the top ten. All of them are gonna get, you know, like uh, whitelist. Stuff. Good whitelist. Okay. We appreciate cool. the, Yeah, we appreciate the engagement for everybody. Thank you all for coming. Yeah. 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 Absolutely, man. We appreciate y'all being here, and I thank y'all for doing that. Um, so we're gonna bring up Bonova. This will probably be our last question here. Um, but Bonova, if you want to get up and speak, I just invited you up. And then if not, Bonova. Yep. Here we go. Please. Nice picture, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yo, I remember this cartoon, yeah, man. Dude, me too. <laughs> yeah, I remember it. Yeah, it, I remember it. What, it what was like, uh, this? Let me, let me remember. Let me remember. I think it was, uh, there was a cow, cow and chicken. chicken. I think okay, it was yeah, called cow, cow and chicken. chicken. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for this um, opportunity, um, Crypto Kingdom. And um, nice project, Rex Finance. Um, my question is um, about your marketing. Apart from um, because I, I, you, I heard you mention that you'll be placing, you know, ads, and then um, you'll be doing more EMAs to, uh, you know, create awareness. Um, mm -hmm. the, apart from these, um, what are other strategies are you using to draw the non-crypto um, users to your platform and keep them long term? 
Are you talking about before launch or after launch? Um, after launch and before launch, the boat. Um, so after launch, we're going to work with um, onboarding. Uh, that we're going to onboard, and we're basically doing that because we don't want to have some guy that says he's good at marketing running something like this. We really look at ourselves as a a really um, prominent project. And we don't want to mess that up. We don't want to leave anything to chance. We don't want to to, to 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 do anything in a mediocre manner. So yeah, we're we're working with really three three really big crypto marketing agencies. We're going to decide which one we're going to go with um, after we launch. Actually, after we have the pre-sale. But um, yeah, at the moment we're just discussing ways that they can strategize with us, and we're having a lot of Zoom calls with them to see which one would actually give us the most bang for our buck. Um, other than that, we're also just going to come up with ways like, well, I, I don't want to do the, if there's anything that is being done and is, you know, run of the mill things, uh, I, I, if it's effective, that's cool, but then we'll do it. But then if it's just something that, you know, people do just to say they're advertising, I don't really want to do that. So we're going to come up with different ways, whether it's having, Silent AM is with different crypto projects on Twitter, having Twitter spaces or just random cool ideas that come about, you know, you know, from nowhere. We have actually a list of marketing strategies that uh, you go from, you know, things that you can probably expect, but things that you'd be like, what the hell is that? So, but then we, we, oh, we hope to make that list a lot more than what it is at the moment. It's about 20, but we hope to have like at least 100 different random, quirky, crazy ideas to, you know, spark the dopamine in people's heads. So, yeah, that's the plan for marketing. And um, before that, uh, yeah, we need people to join the Discord and have that uh, organic community growth. Invite your friends and talk. Talk to us. Talk about, you know, the something to do with space and stars. Talk about investment. Talk about life. Talk about anything. We're cool. We're ready to just come and join the Rec family. Okay. Um, my next question will be: um, After this um, marketing and drawing the investors to come and invest on your platform, um, what assurance can you give them? I mean, can they find value in your project? I mean, after investment, after they've invested. So in the phase one, they're going to have um, <clears throat> staking, and the staking is going to lead to to users generating profits. So you can say, yeah, you're going to generate profit, but what if the price of the token is is dumping, and is dumping faster than what the 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 the, the tokens that they that they're minting is getting? So that's why we've come up with ways and partner with some and and we're working with some projects to make sure that we don't have that you know we, that that that's not the case essentially, and we'll be happy to you know make that public in the future. Okay, um, do you have a um... Like um, for those that understand the, you know, general language, which is um, English, um, do you have um, other communities? I mean, where you can, you know, talk about your project and um, get into, you know, what kind of language are you talking about? <laughs> like Chinese, the Chinese community, you know, Turkish people that, you know, can't really speak the general yeah, language. We're going, to, English. we're going to have we're going to have all our document our documentation. Um, translated into, you know, the most popular, the most popular languages: French, Spanish, Chinese. I speak French myself, so yeah, we're going to make, we're going, we're going to have, um, yeah, we're going to have translation to the most popular languages, definitely, and a lot of marketing material also made for, you know, with some certain markets in, in mind, especially Chinese. The Asian market is is a very big one, so we're not going to overlook that at all. Thank you very much. Um, that's all I have. Appreciate your questions, Benova. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Hey, uh, I think that's uh, that's probably going to be all we've got time for today, guys. I do have another AMA coming up here shortly. I got to get ready for. So um, the Piz, I'm sorry, man, I can't get bring you up right now. And Kelly, if you guys want to drop your questions in the 
uh, rec finance AMA questions. Um, they're going to look over those questions, you know, for those giveaways. Um, so they will be looked at there if you want to drop them in there, whatever you wanted to ask in the chat. Um, so, uh, yeah, just to kind of to finish up. So when when is launch and uh, just kind of touch on those on those uh, those high notes, you know, before we leave here today. So everybody kind of knows when, what to look for. Really? Probably can you discuss that? But honestly, like with launch, um, it's also it's going to be two weeks, yeah. two weeks after the whitelist sale. And uh, when is the whitelist sale? Where well, that's going to be decided uh, based on community growth and uh, traction. Because at the end of the day, we want to have a vibrant community. Because this is not. It has to be. It's it's decentralized organization. They want to start, so we want to have uh, organic growth. So yeah. it's going to be two weeks after the whitelist sale. Okay, so so guys, go ahead and go over there, join their Discord. Um, you know, see if they've got anything going on over there for invite competitions or anything like that. Uh, what what can guys do to get on the white list? Do you guys have any invite competitions for the Discord? Do you have any ways yeah. they can? So, yeah, we, so have we have program. like uh, we have th we have three ways. Uh, actually, uh, more than we have like uh, it, it's all listed on our Discord. But the top four ways is. Basically, first of all, be an active member in the community. That could not include your rank and your level if you are actually proposing really good ideas and you're actively, you know, generating, you know, like uh, really, really innovative ideas. We're going to give you the whitelist. That's randomly going to be given. Then there's going to be our ambassador program where if you help link us up with other AMA communities, uh, other crypto communities, we're going to give you $100 for every crypto community you land an AMA with. That's our ambassador program. You get a whitelist for that. Plus, you have, you know, your regular uh, three lottery tickets, as uh, Manny explained. Each one has its own requirements, including leveling and inviting people. So there's a lot of lists. Cool. We have, like, a long list, you know? So yeah. you, should, you should definitely join our Discord and look through them. Yeah. Yeah, guys, go check that out. Go join the Discord. I uh, posted the link in the uh, Rec Finance AMA questions and in the main chat. So you can head over to the main chat, and there's a Discord right there. So go ahead and join over there. Go check that info out if you're interested in getting a whitelist or if you want to learn some more information. So um, I appreciate everybody listening in, as always. Um, we do have another one coming up in 40 minutes, a $100 giveaway there if you guys still uh, interested in doing that as far as this giveaway um, that info will come out soon as far as the who won for the best questions and everything so I uh, appreciate everybody being here and thank you to the team for coming out and talking and uh, kind of answering everybody's questions